search of a body. In the last 24 hours, they have found two body parts, one spotted in the mouth of a gator. And the sheriff says for now the agency is treating it as a homicide investigation. WPTV News Channel 5's Megan McRoberts is live outside the preserve with this developing story. Megan. Kelly, law enforcement now faced with that enormous challenge trying to determine if these remains actually belong to the same person. They have been scouring through many acres, in fact, miles of the Hungry Land Preserve behind me, knowing that any other potential remains or evidence may have been moved or even destroyed by the many animals who live out here. So far, the remains that were found were spread out a mile and a half apart from each other. So all of Hey, what's up with it, man? White Ball Outdown Radio here. Uh, back with another one, man. You ain't subscribed, make sure to go ahead and subscribe. So this is gonna be like a serious video, man. Um, so a lot of you know, you know, I went back home to see my grandma. You know, that's my home. You know, that's where I grew up. I know a lot of people there. Uh, you know, while I was there, I learned uh, something. It's all over the news. You see the little clip that I put in here. Um, you know, a dude that I was in prison with, he got murdered. Um, you know, from what I know, he was dumped off in an area, if I had to describe it or explain it, it's probably a little bit smaller than the reserve area where laundry was found, right? Just a totally different location, um, but a biologist was out there doing her thing and she, th and she thought she saw an alligator with a man's arm or hand you know the alligator had it so they call the sheriff's up blah, blah 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 and next thing you know there's a manhunt out there and yep they identify him you'll see the pictures and all that that i add to this look with, as far as the dude goes um i was locked up with him i did some time with him okay um and even outside of doing time with him um when i got out of prison i was down in hollywood florida is south florida you know, I linked up with him a couple times, all right, and, uh, you know, we were all right and stuff, but, you know, it's tough, man. Um, it's crazy to read about it. It's crazy to see it. It's crazy to know it's a homicide. Uh, the best thing I can say on this one here is, uh, you know, people, places, and things, man, and choices, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I had to get out from, I had to move away from the same spot that I seen him, right? Because look, you know, you do time, you go back to the same people, places, and things, and same choices you make. And look, when I seen him, when I got up with him, it wasn't like we were going to church. You see what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, from what I understand, you know, he, he, he went somewhere else and, uh, you gotta break habits, man. Habits will uh, always always hold you back, man. Uh, habits will always hold you back. Uh, you know, we're just, we're just two different people. I was always all right with this dude. I'm not putting myself on a high horse whatsoever. But you know, at some point, you know, the party has to stop, man. And uh, that's what it came with me, man. You know, I have a good woman, and you know, I got a house, trying to build assets leave the party alone man and uh some people the party is every day every hour every week every year and i believe that's what happened with this young gentleman you know uh from what i understand talking to some people that i know mutually man um he uh you know going to the doctor with the scripts and blah blah petty hustling for, for you know feeding his own habit and uh he was leaving living in the woods he had burned so many bridges um, you know, and, uh, from what I understand, he, he either robbed somebody or, mur or, or stole something. I really don't know the whole ending of that, but, um, you know, it's drug related, man. Um, we all have lost people behind drugs, man. And, uh, it, it's, it, it's just, man, the, the party has to stop, you know, shout out to him and his family. I don't want to make this like I'm completely crapping on him. Um, I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying to teach anybody, man. That I really knew this dude. He just got murdered, okay? Uh, you know, if you take anything away from this video, man, uh, you know, the party has to stop, man. Uh, it has to stop. 
it has to stop. Um, it was it was not an easy thing for myself. Uh, it was not an easy thing for myself. You know, it's not easy to to, to drastically make big changes, man. Um, but it has to be done, man. And uh, kind of a tough video for me to make for many many reasons. Uh, so I hope everybody understands that. It's Radio, man, and uh, check out the story. I'll pin the comment with some information, and I'll keep you guys posted. Again, this is a homicide, not a suicide. So I'll keep you posted as I can. Uh, would I like to say more about this story? Yes. If you watch this channel, and you're really subscribed to this channel, you've heard me say this many times. People are watching, man. Uh, be careful what you say on social media. And I think I'm going to take some of my own advice for the next one. I care less about that attorney and whatever he feels and thinks about. That family has ignored phone calls. That girl used to live there. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, bitches.